Welcome back everybody or welcome if you are new today we're in the open super late models here at Eldora We are car number 10 out of this what 16 car field so everybody makes it straight through to the feature which is really nice uh, Hopefully we can do pretty well a lot of people that are very fast here and uh, It's really slicked off to start with so I think it's gonna be like middle and bottom basically for The qualifying and heat here, but I have no force feedback. So I need to fix that real quick All right, we should be good to go now I don't know if I want to set up a lap up top or not for like the first of one around. I will see how turn one goes, how that feels. Because if turn one's not great, yeah, turn one, I did not get it turned down enough. Like the tires are just a little tight on the first lap. I really like setting up a lap and hitting it on the second one. As long as we don't hit the inside wall, I'll be happy. And three and four, I'm gonna try to throw a slider. I didn't quite get low enough. I kind of had a weird angle on the entry. That should be an all right lap of 459. We end up getting third so far, so I will take that just behind Trey and Evan. We out qualified Squillian, which is nice. He ran a seven there, so. Heat race is going to be very interesting. It's going to be very tight. I'm happy we ran a good qualifying. Uh, I'm feeling very confident at Eldora, so I'm hoping we can have a good race here. All right, we're getting ready to roll off here. We did qualify third, so we're second here in heat number one. So hopefully we can have a, a nice heat race. Hopefully not fall back too far because everybody makes it to the feature. So it just depends on where our starting spot's going to end up being. So we'll see how that goes. Because being on this outside is not necessarily where I want to be for the heat race. We could kind of run the middle, but at the same time, other people on the bottom might want to run the middle. So, got to be careful that hopefully we don't get spun off the start. I can kind of run middle in both corners and make it work somewhat. But we just got to have a, a good race, hopefully. A good heat race, get us set up okay for the uh, feature. And then the feature is going to be top and one and two for the most part. It might start out low. It depends on how these heat races uh, turn out. But I think everybody's going to be running the low side here in these heats. We'll see if in heat number two, the outside starts to, to work and roll. But good luck to everybody. I think the spotters at the strength of field's like 4,700. So we'll do the best we can here. And we're on CFM sets. If you guys want to check it out, link in the description. Use code HRE for a discount. Oh, he went super early. Like, he had that time for when the pace car was going to go off the track. And we're just getting ran over. Cool. Love that. I apologize. <laughs> Literally just getting ran over on the straight. How the fuck does that happen? That's wild. But he had that thing time for immediately when the pace car was going off, which is wild. Because this is my first race this week here. I figured he was going to go early, but wasn't expecting as the pace car was pulling in. Like, he had that shit timed. It's pretty impressive, honestly, on how well he timed that. And plus, we were sitting a little far back. It wouldn't have mattered if he was uh, slightly early. Wasn't expecting to be that low down track, and he's getting spun off to somebody's nose. Probably the 75, I imagine. Holy crap, like, heat race people have no chill, apparently. Like, I'm assuming off the start, I was probably spinning my tires down the front stretch a little bit, and probably why I got lifted, but still, like, nobody fucking lifts in the heat race. Like, damn. You have no chance if, uh, you're caught sleeping for even a second. Trying to keep up speed here in the middle. Feel like we're doing an okay job of it. Yeah, the top is very fast right now. I kind of shocked at that. I didn't think the uh, top was gonna come in that damn quick. But one and two is always fast here up top. Three and four, you can make that middle work. I think if you hit it right. We'll just have to do a lot of work here in the uh, the feature race because we're back in seventh. That's gonna start as what thirteenth in the uh the feature now like damn had a great qualifying effort and then just had no shot off the start i wouldn't be shocked if uh my spoiler was either gone or damaged from everything that happened in the first damn lap like holy shit so that's quite unfortunate 
I wouldn't be shocked if our spoilers vary damage or something. I'll have to see. I want to see what happened right there at the start because I, I know I just got lifted from behind me, so. That was lovely. Oh no, we just had complete uh, left rear damage, it looks like. Nothing. Awesome, that was kind of a shit show, buddy. <laughs> you don't say. You're telling me. Hi, <laughs> Robbie. Oh, I wasn't playing it on you, buddy. Oh, I know. <laughs> like, literally off the start. Just spun before turn one. That's fun. Like, they were three wide and just hitting the left rear and absolutely destroyed it and stuff, so. It is what it is. Let's get on the heat two and see how it is. We got William in here, so we'll see how he does in heat number two. All right, heat number two is rolling around here. I'm on board with William, who's up top in the big number three, 310, but the big three that you see on the side. I want to see how he can do. If he can move his way up in this heat race, he started on the outside, which is a positive, and he'll be on the outside for the feature. But Evan's got control of the lead. They're off. Pretty solid restart from everybody. They're door banging a little bit already. 212 trying to slide up where there really wasn't a hole for a car, but somehow they don't wreck. I'm shocked by that one. Really thought the 212 was going around there. Because he really sent that up there where there wasn't a hole and made somebody lift. So that's one way to do it, I guess. Oh, he's blinking. Let's uh, get off of him. I'll watch the guy in front of him so we don't sit the, uh, like, get blinking around. That would be annoying. Watch the 92 here on the inside of them. The outside's just rolling so well right now. Everybody's single file right up there on the wall. Williams bouncing off of it. These guys are barely tapping it with the right rear. Evans out front. He slid up to the top in three and four. Like, went in middle, kind of slid up in one and two. He just goes in up top, just getting it right on the edge there. Big slider from the 92. Ch big checkup in the accordion line right there. He was making that middle work good enough, but the outside was getting a lot of a run, so he had to try to throw a slider and get to that top side. You gotta get to the top. He's throwing another slider in one and two. I guess he's thinking that's that's working for him. William gets a huge run off the top and off a of turn two. Very tight there in three and four. Very close racing. 92 runs right through the slick there. Williams more up top and gets a good run there off of, off of the uh, exit of two. Into the wall, into the back of the 92. Somehow they don't wreck. What a save by the 92. I don't know how, but 46 ended up benefiting from all that, getting out in front of them. Anybody battling up here? No, the 212 got up in the second around the 11 car. Don't know exactly how, but William goes through a deep slider, almost gets into the 46, but corrals it enough to where he doesn't. They are on the final lap here. He's running that outside. Gonna get a huge run. Nope, he gets sideways. Not as big of a run as he could have had. Very sideways there. 92 throws a slider. He's gonna have to cut down. I can't tell what happened. The 11 wrecks it. You ain't gotta explain yourself, bro. And I don't know what just happened. I don't know who got it out of them. Who ended up getting it out of uh, them too. It looks like the 92 ended up getting it there. Just barely over William, but he like blinked off a of turn four. I don't know who got it, so I had to go look there. But we're starting back in 13th. We'll see how we can do here. All right, we're getting ready to roll off here for the feature race. Hopefully, all we can do is go forward, really. We're already starting all the way in the back, so. I thought this was a 16-car field, but I guess uh, the 16th place guy is not even here. Yeah, the f number 15, Caden, not even here. So 15 car is gridded. I guess he uh, wasn't even in the server anymore. So really, all we can fall back to is 15th. We're car 10, so we're already a low-ish car number. I'm hoping we can try to rebound. Yeah, good luck to you too, William. We're both starting back here. And uh, we'll see what we can do here. Hopefully, we can move forward. My bad, Austin. <laughs> You're all good. They started accordion real quick up here. I wasn't expecting y'all to bow up, brother. Yeah, it was checking up kind of quick. But yeah, it happens. We didn't get any damage off it, so we'll be fine. Not worried about it. Somebody moved the cone all the way out in the turn one. <laughs> we'll see what we can do here, though. Hopefully, we can get to the top kind of quick in one and two. I don't really know about three and four. I don't know if I want to run the top in three and four. I'm not that good at it. But yeah, he's taking a huge uh, layback from the pace truck to probably get a huge, like, early jump. Yep, he's gone already. The pace car wasn't even close to turning in yet, but we're off. It takes a couple laps for these tires to heat up and start feeling really good also. So we just got to take it a little easy here off on the beginning. 
They're hitting behind me already. I don't know if the other guy on the outside got in the wall or what, because we cleared him quite easy, just running like the middle. Try and save a little tire early. Try not to go full bore right off the, the jump. There could be some wrecks too. Play some attrition with the, the tire wear and stuff. Just trying to run the middle for now. Wait for these tires to heat up a little bit because I know I could rip the top pretty well in one and two. But everybody up there is like three wide, racing hard as hell. 92 is cutting all the way down. I thought he was going to hook that 95 or 75 back up to the top. Getting under Simone here. Racing right on his damn door. It's super tight right now. He's getting a little bit better of a run because I'm more in the slick right there. Not really preferred. I think I'm going to jump up to the top. Oh, wait, nope. That's 75 super slow on the exit. Not sure if he broke his right front or what just happened, but he was super. Yeah, he is going to the wall. Thank goodness he didn't hook me. That was close. I was going to go to the top there in one, two. Thank goodness I did not because I don't know. Oh, well, yep. He just all F forward. He's out. All right, yeah, we're going to go to the top because I know. Oh, they're wrecking. Never mind. So good timing. <laughs> don't know what just happened, but I saw a car on the very inside spinning around. So caution number one. And uh, I don't know if we're going to be starting on the inside or outside. I think it's going to be on the outside. So we'll see how we can do here on the outside on this restart. Never mind. Uh, Evan's going to the pits there. Or no, Caleb's going to the pits there. I think we're going to be on the inside. All right, on the inside, like I thought once uh, Caleb went and pitted. Kind of unfortunate, kind of not the worst thing though. I was gonna start ripping the top though in one and two. So we're gonna have to work our way back up there. Three people were in the pits. The 12 car that's on our outside, which is the one, he has a lot of right rear or left rear damage. It looks like. Where are you at? Um, Caleb and Landon. I don't know why Caleb pitted, but Landon was in the wreck. It sounds like, or it looked like, I think he was the one. But we're getting ready to go back green. Yeah, he goes before the pace car even starts to pull off. The wild. Try to not get in the back of the 92 here. See if we can't try and get to the top here. The 07 started getting a little sideways, so I was trying to avoid his bumper in three and four. I checked up. Luckily, I think Caleb checked up for us as well. I'm all up in the wall. Let's not pull off and wreck somebody. He's up in the wall. I think he broke his right front. I barely clipped it with my rear, and they're wrecking up top. Oh, they're coming back down. Hey, Tristan, buddy. I mean, that was scary. Holy crap. We missed the three car wreck. We were. Okay, 72. There's a car. Or 92. There was a car down there. What the hell are you doing? Oh, his car is destroyed. So that was absolutely crazy. We somehow dodged that thing. We're all the way up to eighth from that wreck, which is wild. I don't think Caleb realizes he's on the inside. Are you on the inside, Caleb? Say what, Austin? I was asking you if you're on the inside. Yeah, I am. <laughs> All, right, All good. Going I'm like, I, it says behind the nine, and he's not the nine, so I was a little confused there. But we're all the way up to eighth now, which is crazy. That's awesome. Trying to not spin the tires too much there off the start. Try not to back the back in into the wall again. I know I could rip the top pretty well. I was doing really well in the last week practicing and uh, earlier today practicing. I was ripping the top in one and two really well. Three and four is always a little weird to me. We still got a long way to go in this race. Like we still got nearly 40 laps. So we just got to take it nice and easy. Try not to kill the tires too much, but I want to run the top in one and two. Kind of take it easy in three and four, and we get a caution. We're going to be back on the inside for this restart. All right, restarting on the inside this time. It looks like William's up there in third place. He's uh, moved his way up the field very well because he started back there in 12th right next to us, worked his way up to third now. Good on William. He's been very fast. I know he, like, he wasn't racing a lot last week, but uh, I talked to him a decent bit, and he's been grinding the hell out of these things before that. But he said he forgot how to drive these things earlier in qualifying. So he didn't qualify the best. 
but we're getting ready to go green hopefully there's been so many wrecks and stuff people will calm down with it a little bit and we can get some green flag racing that'd be really great to see so i really don't want to blow my not blow but like destroy my right rear tire i can actually do the same driving first running the uh top the entire time they're racing side by side for the lead We'll see if we could try and get by the nine car. Trying to work the outside. It's such a fine line. Especially on the exit of turn two, it's very sketchy. Like so easy to uh, clip that right rear and nail the wall at the right front. I got oddly tight in the middle of three and four and that killed my run on the straightaway. Yeah, like William just did there where he smacked the wall on the exit. He's throwing a slider, that's fine. I smacked the wall trying to go for a cut down, but we're good. I'm not gonna throw a full slider back or anything. I just wanna run low into the middle. Nine cars gonna get by us on the outside. The 31 is whacking the wall down. Oh, I thought the nine was going high. My bad, my guy. My bad there. I thought he was going to run higher in uh, three and four because he ran the top one and two and got by us. I thought he was going to go top in three and four. But the 31 is driving super hard right now trying to go forward. I'm trying to preserve a little bit of the right rear for later in this race because there could be a, a caution later or just we get this long green run. Uh, we'll start catching back up on them. He's destroying the wall. He's going to end up killing his right front tire at some point. He's not going to be able to turn the way he's whacking the wall over and over. What a lucky wall. Oh yeah, he's destroying the hell of that wall. Holy crap, it's every lap too. He is destroying that right front on it. I hit the right rear on it pretty good there, but didn't hit the right front somehow. Very close to doing so. That was our fastest lap of the race and we're whacking the wall like on the exit like I did not want to and he is getting spun out. That's going to be a caution. Right. Everybody's what getting hit. Outside. No caution. Oh, there's the caution finally. Trying to that was crazy. Somehow we dodged all that and a couple guys got wrecked from it. So I'll take that. Got very lucky there. All right, we're all on the green. I was trying to see where the, how many laps this guy was down. He's three laps down. Uh, he was the one qu crab walking after a wreck earlier, so. 31's coming back out here. That's the 11. He has no spoiler. That car is absolutely junked. Like, destroyed from that wreck. He was one that was just got by us a few laps ago. But we're in 7th. We're on the lead lap. I'll take it. Somehow we're running decent. We're dodging all these wrecks right now. Four now, at least, I should say. Try and get to the top and not smack it. Hopefully we don't have to deal with the lapped cars behind us because it seems like they're all very damaged and they're going to be slow. So yeah, it looks like we don't have to deal with them, which is really nice. I don't know how damaged Caleb is back there. He's the only one I haven't seen his car in a while, so I don't know how damaged he is. I keep messing up and getting oddly tight, like just not driving it correct. But this set's very quick. I just need to be more aggressive and run it hard up top, and I can do it pretty well. And the more tire wear wears out in this thing, it uh, doesn't get any easier, I'll tell you that. But we're doing pretty well. 4,700 strength of field, trying to stay out of all these wrecks because these guys have been nuts in this thing. As you can see in front of me, all these guys are throwing like sliders and Hail Marys on each other. Yeah, Caleb is behind the 14 back there. and I can't tell how damaged his car is. Oh, they're getting stuffed in the wall. I think that was William getting stuffed up there. I don't know if he knew he was still out there or just drifted up too far, but somehow they all keep going. I thought there was going to be a big wreck there. Nine cars all the way up there in like fourth now because I think that's up in third is William. Yeah, the top two are gone. Trey and uh, Evan. There's no competing with them in this one. 
I wish we wouldn't have uh, gotten destroyed in the heat race, but honestly, at this point, it might have been a blessing in disguise that we got destroyed in the heat race. Just because uh, we started out back and we've been able to miss pretty much all the wrecks. We got clipped a little bit on one of them when the 14, that orange car, like came back down the track, like once we we're already under caution and everything. But overall, our car's been hey, don't pretty good. Over this time. I'm running the bottom. <laughs> he said he was running the bottom on the last one, but he was like in the middle of the track. Make sure you're on the wall, bro. <laughs> People are pissed in this race. Oh, I keep clipping the wall there. Let's not do that. Let's not throw this seventh place or eighth place away because Caleb is catching us. Because if I kill my right front, we're going to not have a good finish. But if I don't kill my right front, I think we could have this seventh place or eighth place finish depending if Caleb passes us. Oh, I was having a good three and four there. Barely clipped it, but still all right. It didn't straighten us out too bad. I got to get a little bit of a cut down on the exit of turn two like that. And that's a good lap. The bottom of the car's car. Yeah, if you have like literally no spoiler and stuff and you're that slow on the track, like it's no fun to drive around. It's absolutely terrible. Like that's the worst experience in a race is just having your entire thing destroyed. I think that's another lap car. That's the 11 on the bottom with his destroyed car. I thought he was going to destroy it on the, uh, the wall, like his right front on the wall by hitting it so much, but he decides to come up now. That thing you cannot handle. There's no way you can really handle that and be fast with no spoiler. Hopefully he jumps to the bottom. Nope. He's not going to jump the bottom. Cool. Thanks for having a destroyed car out here still. That's fun. Trying not to slide all the way up to the wall there just because I didn't want to smack it. But you could see like people with the, the destroyed spoilers, the two guys had no spoiler. This car on the inside had a, just a really wrinkled up one and it just kills your speed at these big tracks. The no spoiler is going to kill you at any track, but even the wrinkle up like that is going to kill you really badly on these tracks. And we've pulled away from Caleb, started running the top really well. Oh, I think the nine car just broke. I think he's done for. He's not going to be able to turn. Get off the track. All the four. Yeah, I wasn't sure uh, if he was going to go straight up into the corner. But you get off the track, Landon. I don't think he's Are talking to him. Silly? People take things way too personally here. It's hilarious. That's sixth place though for us. Hell yeah. One more guy does it. We can get a top five out of this thing and have a pretty good I rating day. Slow car on the bottom. Oh, they're wrecking. Go low, go low, go low. And that killed William. He just got his shit uh, pushed in the wall, I think, and got destroyed. That's quite unfortunate. That's going to get us up to fifth place there though. Wow, what a crazy turn of events this, this race has had. I literally think there's six cars left on the lead lap and Caleb's the last one. He's on pit road. He's probably going to come off pit road here, but with him being on pit road, he's going to start behind the lapped cars behind me. So literally as long as I don't destroy my car, we're getting a top five and we can see if we could try to get like a fourth or third up here. There's no way we can get up the Trey or Evan. They are too damn fast up there, but maybe these guys in front of us start to battle some and we can take advantage. We'll see. But got less than 10 laps to go. Single file restarts. Let's see what we can do here at the end. I don't know if we've saved any tire or we've killed it. I'm not 100% sure. Damaged car coming off pit road. We're in that low side. It's going to be quite interesting. Hopefully it doesn't slide up into anybody. Yeah, I got to get to the top there in three and four. Oh, that straightened out badly. Keep it off the wall. We'll be good. I, I think even if you get all your damage fixed in a race, it's not going to re-put a spoiler on there for you. It would be interesting to test, but I really don't think it will. I, at this point, I'm just trying not to destroy my car. I screwed up way too much on that last lap, getting sideways in three and four. I'm just hoping they junk it up there. I might have burned off my right rear early. 
or something trying not to i'm not good at saving tires on dirt i've learned it a little bit on oval and i'm not great at it but man it's so tough but they're racing tough up front everybody's just running the very outside But a top five as car 10, I will freaking take it any way I can get it. Like, that's that's remarkable to me. Oh, we're going to smack the wall there. We're fine. Do we have rear end damage? I know we have front end. Nope, that's it. Haven't uh, gotten damage on the rear end. At least that it will tell me, so I'm fine with that. They're battling for second. That's giving Trey a big lead. I think Trey is gone at this point. Two laps left here. Let's just try and keep it off the wall, mainly. Keep it off the wall, bring this thing home in fifth place. It seems like everybody's losing their spoiler in a wreck. Like, it's crazy on how easy people are wrecking it and uh, losing their spoiler. So, I, it seems like this race, just keep yourself clean and you might be able to get a decent finish because I will take this all day. That will give us a decent boost into my rating, which I'll be very happy with. Get in a top five and a 4,700 strength field with some of the some really strong drivers here. I will take it being car number 10. That's awesome. It's a win for us. I'll take it. Especially after what happened in the heat race. Like, that was ridiculous. But good win by Trey. He was very fast all race. Evan getting second. They were running 1-2 the entire time. But he was getting battled there towards the end. Yeah, I didn't. I never bent up my rear end, but we did get a little bit of right front, I think, from the 92 coming down on us at one point. But let's look at all these wrecks because somehow we dodged all of them, which was crazy. I don't know how, but we did. 212 into the wall, scraping it down the back stretch. This was like the first lap because that guy hit the wall on the outside. And then uh, because uh, we were on the inside of him and I remember him hitting the wall very, very early. Sliding up, probably net code touched because they never really even touched. But he was turning down to go into the corner anyways. One car is going to smack it pretty hard it's he's saying he's already lost his spoiler on lap four. Oh no i think he got his spoiler back it was the one that was all like dented up and stuff he destroyed the wall what the hell happened there though i'm so confused because like out of nowhere i think his like setup just tightened up really bad on him and then just destroyed the wall his right front is pointed the wrong way i don't know if he's able to turn with that thing no it doesn't look like it's turning because i remember it was like we were behind oh no it was, he was actually behind us so yeah he destroyed uh his stuff he got ran over on the entry of that corner and then everybody dodged that for the most part besides nine got clipped a little bit yeah he already got his spoiler back so either it popped back in place or he went to the pits and got it enough fixed to get the spoiler back somewhat so that's lucky for him 40 car they were racing so tight up there by the wall I was behind this. He clips the wall pretty hard there and I think broke his right front. Yeah, he broke his right front there. So that's how easy it is to break your right front or spoiler in these things like these. The cars are just getting absolutely destroyed so quickly. They were very tight three wide there. The 40 car had a huge run on the exit. I don't think he expected him to actually be there on the straightaway because he was coming up like there was going to be no car there. Either that or he was leaving literally just enough room for one car and he was just a little bit down the track and it just hooked him up into the wall. And uh, I think I barely missed this one. Oh, yeah, I barely missed that one. That was a scary wreck for us. Because I see it happening. I check up we missed that but he's going low and then he's getting back spun back up the track so i'm like going all over the place trying to slow this car down and this is where the 92 like he's just crab walking all the way down the track and then we just get we get some right front damage from that which sucked but it is what it is at that point luckily our car is not destroyed caleb behind us oh he killed his right front oh wow he killed his right front too and he still came home with a sixth place so brought out the caution able to get that fixed stay on the lead lap somehow the 31 and the 92 getting together behind me. I did not see that. 32 is on the outside. He smacked this wall so many times. I'm shocked he didn't kill that right front on the wall because he hit that thing so many times. This was a tight slider. Didn't slide all the way up, but still like net code hit him. I don't know. He like kind of hit the rear end, but kind of didn't. It was weird. Somehow they don't wreck it though. William getting in the wall there. Oh, yeah, and this is where uh, the lap car said he was running the inside, which he was somewhat on the inside, but not all the way at the wall. And there's people battling for position behind. 
So I, really, you just, you just got to stay as far out of the way as possible. But with no spoiler and stuff, it's not fun driving around here. It's such a mess. And then we were not that far behind this as well. Somehow I missed this wreck too. Because I see them spinning. He goes up, nails the wall. Dying car gets spun. So we just straighten it back out. And then the caution doesn't come out until like now, which is crazy. I thought the caution wasn't going to come out. That would have been really nuts. That would have been really unfortunate as well. One car hitting the inside wall. William, I know he got killed. I don't know how, though. Oh, that was that super tight slider that uh, the 46 got on the mic for and said sorry. Because I, I wasn't sure if he, like, straightened out badly or what. This one car is just very damaged from the very beginning. He is struggling. This is the leader out front. Just barely tapping the right rear on the wall perfectly, keeping that thing sideways enough. Nine car, is this where he destroys his right front? Yep, just hits the right rear too hard, gets the right front around, kills the car. And then this was behind me. I already got by the 31, but the 31 wanted to run the top side with a destroyed car for some reason, so that was annoying. And is this where he loses his right front and stuff? Oh, he junked himself. He threw a slider and killed it. I wasn't sure if he got stuffed in the wall, but no, William just screwed himself. Got up into the wall, like threw the slider way too hard. And then he's trying to get down the pit lane. Nine cars just sitting there. <laughs> what a mess that is. And then everybody's trying to get in pit lane. That's super damage. And then there was like an eight lap restart. Oh, the leader got the wall really hard. Evan got up into him because he couldn't check up in time. And that slowed him up a ton, which is really unfortunate. William running the bottom, just super damage. And then this is the leader out front, Trey, just clipping the wall just oh so slightly, doing it perfectly. Like, that's what you want is just to barely clip it, but I'm terrible at that. If I clip it, my front end's coming around most of the time. But hell, I will take a top five position out of that being card 10. That is amazing. Only six cars in the lead lap, which is wild for a 4,700 strength of field. So let's go see what we end up getting out of the result here. All right, we gain a solid 52 out of that. I will take it. There's only two splits. Uh, second split's already done as well. But uh, it was a solid strength of field, too. Very, very good. So I'm happy with that. I don't think we necessarily had a top five speed car because I killed my right rear. I looked at it afterwards and I had 69 right rear. Very nice, but kind of not nice. I was kind of like really bad at the same time, but I will take it. Uh, we end up with a top five out of that, gaining 52, which is awesome. Definitely excited for the fixed race later in the week. I'm going to be running a lot of these over and over again over the weekend because I like running Eldora and I need I want to try to get better in these open sets because I feel like I got some speed and uh, oh, wow, I'm shocked. Evan actually gained one getting second. He's over 10,000. All right, 10,650. That is nuts, but he gets one I rating for finishing second. I honestly thought he would have lost I rating there, but he doesn't somehow. But uh, that probably because some of the really uh, good numbers down here. The six, eight, two, seven, way back here losing I ratings that really helped out uh, people gaining. So I will take it. Top five in a tough field. We're able to avoid pretty much all the wrecks. We got a zero X out of it too. I think we had a two X in the heat race. So that was it for us. But overall, a fun race. Very happy we were able to dodge all those wrecks and uh, get out of there scot free for the most part with a top five. That's very lucky, but I'll take it any day. Sometimes it's better to be lucky than good. Just dodging those wrecks, not getting yourself in trouble. So I'll take that. The heat race wreck might have been a blessing in disguise for us, which is lucky. So I'll take it. But appreciate you guys for watching as always. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the race and I'll catch you guys in the next one.